Yo, this is stopping you from overcoming your stutter. This right here, right? What I'm about to explain in this video is the number one thing that would stop me, would stop George, would stop Fred, would stop Patricia from overcoming her stutter or just developing in life at, at all, all right? And once you learn, how, once you learn the science behind this, this enemy, you are now equipped to deal with it, all right? So before I start, I want to say hi. My name is Shias Gillis. I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way without speech techniques, but by dealing with the inferior, dealing with the inferiority, the low self-esteem, the constant anxiety, the embarrassment, the shame, all the underlying emotions, dealing with those emotions, showing you how your authenticity, how your true character right now is the best you can be and expressing that and turning you into the expressive, authentic version of yourself that you are when you buy yourself or you talk to a pet or animal, bringing that version of you out, overcoming your stutter as a byproduct of that. So let's start this right now. This is the number one thing that's stopping you from overcoming your stutter. And what it is, I don't know how many letters it is, I'm going to guess eight, maybe seven, is, homeo, is homeostasis. Homeostasis is this undeniable law that all things want to remain the same. All things like a congruence in their state. All things like a congruence in the way they think. All things like a congruence in the way of being. And the shitty fucking thing is that you, if you're watching this and you have not, you do not have a positive relationship with your stutter, this means that for most of your life, most probably, you've had a negative relationship with your stutter. And that means even though it does not feel good to get shame when you stutter, even though it does not feel good to be embarrassed when you stutter, there is comfortability in patterns. And once you become, you do the same pattern over and over and over again, that's your default. That is who you, who you are. And that is the version of you that, that, that you want to live in more frequently. So leaving your comfort zone, doing things that are actually good for you, not only is hard for you to do, it's hard for everyone to do to leave the comfort to leave their comfort zone, but your body will be resisting it the whole time. Even when you start taking action and you've been going good for a few weeks, it's only been a few weeks and your body's going to want to pull you back into this homeostasis spot where you're take you're not taking action you're living in your com you're living in your comfort zone and you're hiding away from the world so becoming aware of this this is something i have to tell my clients all the time is that consistency is number 1 consistency is the number one thing that you can fucking do because in order to rewrite re rewrite rewrite your self-image rewrite your self-beliefs rewrite your self-perception of who you are and what you're capable of doing and saying and being and expressing it can't just be i'm going to take action today and then maybe two weeks from now and then a couple days after that no you have to do it every single day because there's a version of you that's going to try to pull you back always always try to pull you back but if you continue to stick with consistent daily action, step by step by step actions, that is actually how you build the momentum. You continue to build the momentum, build the momentum, build the mo momentum until that becomes your default. The thing I see over and over and over again with people who stutter and why they cannot overcome their stutter is because they take action for two weeks they take action for a month and they feel fucking good and guess what they coast they coast and they say sweet look at me <laughs> look at my speech look at the way i can talk to people I, I can socialize now but then they coast and guess what happens 
this coasting slowly starts to cause you to hide because your default yet your your default is not yet this expressive version of yourself it's it's not your default is still the hiding repressing afraid version so understanding this un, un, understanding that you have to be very conscious of your actions you have to be conscious of doing daily fucking actions taking daily actions not huge astronomical life-changing actions every day but just actions that pull you towards the hero version of yourself let's talk about that right now actually because that's so fucking important and i get my clients to do this exercise and it's called the hero you versus the loser you in reality Every action in life, you can either go towards, there's two outcomes, all right? You're either moving closer towards the hero version of you, the version of you you want to become, or the loser version of you, the one that hides, the one that represses, the one that's afraid of social situations. Every action in life, you're either going towards one, one of these two avenues and being conscious of what that hero version of you looks like, how he walks, how he talks, how he expresses himself, and constantly leaning towards that hero version of you more than the loser version of you every single day. But again, you may ask, I don't even know what the hero version of me looks like. I don't even know what goals I should have. I don't even, if I do know what goals I should have, which the most common goal I usually get, is I want to be able to expressively, um, I want to be able to expressively share my ideas, thoughts, stories without fear. And that's a fucking amazing goal. It's 100% doable, but you do not know the exact steps to get there. You do not know what it takes because you know you should take daily action, but what does daily action look like? And I wanna give you a little bit of an insight. A little bit of insight is that everything repressive will bring you to that loser version of yourself. Everything repressive is going to make you stutter more. Everything repressive is going to make you want to hide and hold back your true character. All right. So that means everything expressive is going to be fucking amazing for you. What is something expressive you you can do? Can you talk? just for starters, more expressively. This is something I get my clients to do a lot too. I'm not gonna share all the things I do with my clients right now, but to practice changing your tonalities, not because it helps you speak with less of a stutter, but because you get more comfortable expressing. You start to leave leave this this shell that you put yourself in that you can only talk this way you can only talk monotone and this is the way it has to be no once you start to see that you can be safe that you can be fine if you can express expressively and where there's no control you can go up you can go down it doesn't matter that will signal to your brain man it's safe to express and it that's awesome and There's just so many different exercises. There's so many different things you can do with people every single day to practice this expression muscle, all right? That's just one part of it. That's just one part of it that I wanna share with you to help you defeat homeostasis. Do something every single fucking day because once you understand this, you have no fucking excuses. You don't wanna do something. Oh, I don't wanna go and take action. Yeah, I bet you fucking don't. I bet you don't. I bet no one does. Because your default is not taking action. Your default is not pushing yourself. Your default is not expression. Your default is not showing up. Your default's hiding. So of course you're not going to want to take action. Of course you're not going to want to take action. But you do it anyway. And like I said, I am Chase Gillis. I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way. If you're confused... At any part of the path, I don't know what actions to take. I don't know what mindsets to have. I don't know what I should do when I wake up. I don't know what the best thing to do is when I go to bed. I don't know how to pump my state. All of this shit, 
if you have any questions, my question to you is, why are you trying to do it on your own? And the reason why is home is homeostasis. Is because that's the way you've always been doing it. It's more comfortable because when if, if, if you get help from someone, now you have to leave your comfort zone. Now you have to do something uncomfortable. So, auto, so automatically, you're going to say, nope, I don't want to do that. It makes zero sense though. You know it makes zero sense, but I just hope you know that nothing will change unless you do. Nothing will change unless you do. And if you are someone right now who says, you know what? Fuck homeostasis. This video makes sense. I'm willing to do something different. And I'm willing to put in the work to overcome my stutter and be the authentic version of myself. Then look at the closest link down below. You can book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me where you will talk about your seat talk about your situation talk about the goals you may have and we will see if we will be able to work together to help you achieve your goals of being the most authentic expressive free amazing badass whatever it may be version that you want to achieve all right i love you so much take action fuck homeostasis Peace out.